Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to the topic in uh, Pathos 5 training series. Uh, this topic is regarding how to add structure in the translation path. Uh, for example, if you have a link uh, to be planned and you know that there is some big structure or some building or big trees or uh, any other structure which uh, you are sure that it is on the on the transmission path so even though the line of sight is clear but you have to plot it on uh, the path loss so that uh, you can see if it affects any other thing like uh, your fractional zones or it adds some affection loss or any other thing so for that you have to add that structure uh, if you have a very updated uh, map data and you have all the building and all the clutters are covered then this should come by itself but uh, generally because uh, as a planner I know that we don't uh, have the updated uh, map data always so uh, a lot of time it happens sometimes you know that some new building is going to be built and you, you can, can get that, that okay, okay what should be the maximum height of that building so, so even you can put the building before it is built so, so that you can optimize your antenna heights from the start and you don't uh, find any trouble in uh, the future so let me explain to you how we can add uh, a structure in the transmission path so for example you are uh, in path loss and uh, right now this window is uh, the antenna heights window like if you are in the main window of path loss then after operations you come to antenna heights so this window opens and uh, in this antenna height window this uh, operations tab if you see in the last there is this added structure so if you go to operations and then you click on edit structure uh, you will find this small window this window is uh, now path loss wants you to tell it something about this structure so you have to fill this uh, these three things uh, this one the description is optional you can put any name here but the type is you can say very important because based on the type path loss will calculate uh, the loss and everything in a different way based on, based on what you what type you put here and uh, here you can give the height of structure how much is the height and this location this location is basically the distance of the structure from the near end from this end from zero you have to tell that how many kilometers you have to go like for example i put here 19 kilometers so you can see this arrow this is telling me that the structure will be built upon here so path loss will build the structure here it will be a 50 meter high structure so when i am confirmed that okay this is fine i should click apply so as soon as you apply i see this there is a building formed on the exact place where i have asked path loss to put it so now in our other things like in diffraction or uh, in this links fractional zone calculation and loss and everything uh, path loss will use this structure as well and if this structure is blocking any major thing like uh, main line of sight so then path loss will tell you that this structure is and this is good for us because now we can optimize the heights if this structure comes in between our line of sight then we can increase the height of the site a and site b and uh, so we can avoid this structure so I hope you will like uh, this small video on how to add structures in transmission path. If you have any comment, any question about this video, please contact me, my email address, 
my LinkedIn, my contact details are here. You can contact me in any way. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that whenever my new video comes, you can have intimation and you can watch my new videos. So please watch, like, comment and share. Thank you. See you in the next video. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.